That the old lady brutal. right there. <laughs> Kick your yeah, cane. yeah. You're going to hit her with a mean right hook. Hmm. <laughs> That's it for me. Nothing. <laughs> Shit, all right. But to be oh! honest, there is a handful of times where I've let... Oh! The intrusive thoughts take... <laughs> What up, what up, what up? Yo. It's your boys, man. Smoke County, JK in the building, dog. It's your boy, Jay. Brazil. You already know what time it is, man. We back with another reaction video. <laughs> uh, with the creator, Chains For Real, or yeah. Chains FR. You know what I'm saying? We about to react to his video called Intrusive Thoughts Be Like. Mm. So, if y'all know Chains FR, and y'all know us, y'all know it's about to be a great video. You feel me? <laughs> hey, exactly. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? That so, part. in order to stay here and join the, the crowd that's on the way to 100K, like and subscribe. Click on the notification bell because your boys are here for a good time. Been a long time. A long time. Long time, long time. And, um, yeah, with that being said, let's get into it, man. Oh, can I pet your dog? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, what's your name, little guy? His name's Ben. Ben. Oh, he's, he's so cute. I just, I, I just wanna, I, I just wanna punt that motherfucker. <laughs> Man, these intrusive thoughts I be having make me wonder whether I belong in maximum security <clears throat> prison or not. Like I don't even mean to, but the thoughts that pop into my head nah, are I'd so like that menacing that I can't even say this shit on though. YouTube. Or this video will get taken down. Then I'll be cancelled. Then my whole <laughs> channel will get deleted. Then I'll be thrown into a psych ward and then I'll be put on the fucking death penalty. Damn. Like these thoughts that pop into my head are so alarming that It'd they make like me want to beat my own ass, bro. Hey man, uh, what? Why'd you just sock yourself in the face? Oh, well, well, you see, I was about to push that unsuspecting toddler into the deep end for no apparent reason, so... <laughs> Yo, this guy's about to assault a minor. Hey, you can't oh, do that. Cool, dude. Dude. But it's oh! not like every single intrusive thought I have is bad enough to get me convicted. Like, whenever I'm walking across a bridge, I have to use every cell in my body to fight the urge of just tossing my phone into the water. Like, there is literally hey, no benefit from doing that shit, but there's just something inside of me that would feel so much sad satisfaction with just seeing my phone dissipate into the water you know maybe you get that urge because it would just be satisfying to do some shit that's out of the box some shit that yeah. nobody else would do just to, just to break the simulation a little bit because i could be having the best day of my life i could wake up get the meanest pump in hop in the shower eat the most fire breakfast and draw the most pristine stick men in the shower, eat the most fire breakfast, and draw the most pristine stick men I've ever drawn. But as I'm casually walking beside a bunch of cars that are going 65 miles an hour, I'm still what? gonna have the urge to just throw myself in front of a car, bro. And it's not even on some emo shit. Like, I want to live... But I also want to dive into some oncoming traffic. But at no, least I'm not the like only that. one who does no this. Cap. Like, you, oh. like other people do this. Uh, right? L like it's normal, right? But half the time, an intrusive <laughs> thought will just be to do some goofy shit. Like you're just forced to imagine the consequences of what it would look like to start throwing it back on a Tuesday at 2.41 p.m. And every once in a while, you'll just be chilling and you'll witness a motherfucker fall to the intrusive urges. What are you now, get the table, on. bro? Shit, he let the intrusive thoughts win, man. Now, I don't even know if these count as intrusive thoughts or not, but as a dude, when I'm walking down the street, I'll just be going on with my day chilling then all of a sudden i see a car and i'm like if i don't make it to that tree before this car i'm gonna die i swear to god <laughs> oh shit honestly these kinds of intrusive thoughts are are kind of motivated like it's the You're same right, thing no, as bro. having a hype man okay. at the gym except instead of that positive reinforcement if you don't get those three extra reps you're gonna die it's like whenever i'm at the gym hitting those bulgarian That's split wild. squats i'd be having mental wars with myself Oof, that was a good set, man. I think we're done. Five more reps or you're a bitch. Damn, good shit. All right, I think we could wrap it up. Ten more, pussy. Who the fuck's gonna carry the boats? Okay. I told you we should have stopped, Ooh. bro. Fifteen more or you like dick. Oh! 
gonna carry the boat. <laughs> I told you we should have stopped, bro. 15 more or you like dick. Now that I think <gasps> about it, there's a good amount of people in prison right now who just succumb <laughs> to their intrusive thoughts. Because intrusive thoughts are just like that demon on your shoulder telling you to do the most devious shit possible. And I know there's a bunch of motherfuckers out there who just listen to that little guy. Hey, nah, real man. shit. You see that lovely that old lady true. right there? <laughs> Kick yeah, cane. yeah, you're gonna hit her with a mean right hook. Hmm. <laughs> That's it for me. Nothing. <laughs> Shit, all right. But to be oh! honest, there is a handful of times where I've let oh the intrusive thoughts take over one of the most memorable was way back when i was five years old me and my older brother were just dicking around doing some five-year-old hey, shit yo. keep in mind this story takes place before your boy had even developed consciousness so i was just a little munchkin doing munchkin shit then suddenly <laughs> This urge came over me. It, it was unlike anything I'd ever felt before. It, it was dark, irresistible. And for no apparent reason, I bit my brother's arm. And this was probably the most satisfied I'd ever felt in my entire life. But it was followed by shame and regret because I had no excuse. Ow, wh why the fuck did your dumbass just bite me, bro? Um, I. Uh, I felt like it. And one of my oh. lowest IQ moments of all time took place when I was in grade eight. It was goddamn sewing class, bro. And I remember I was having a particularly sewing miserable class. day. So I was just going through the motions. We were all gathered around this big table with our sewing machines, some fabric, and some scissors. I remember I was working on some shitty little big chunga stuffy. But on this particular day, the sewing machine cable was looking... It was looking mad thick and juicy. And like I said, I was having a bad day, which is exactly why the intrusive thoughts decided to catch me at my worst. Psst, psst, do it. What, d d do what? Oh, you know what to do. You're the one with the scissors in your hand, buddy. H how did these even get in my hand? Now cut it. Cut it, Chains. No, why the fuck would I? The wire exploded with smoke and my heart dropped so fast, bro. And everyone around the table just stares me down. And I'm thinking I can somehow cover this shit up like I didn't just take some fucking scissors and snip that shit like an umbilical cord. Maybe I could convince the teacher the cord snipped itself or some shit. But as I look down at the scissors in my hand, there's literally a chunk missing from the scissors. They look like they survived World War II. But barely. The scissors are all charred up and shit. And just like that, my plan of convincing her I didn't cut it went out the fucking window. You take one look at the cord, one look at the scissors, and one look at my dumbass face. And you can piece together exactly what happened. So my sewing teacher walks over looking pissed as hell. And she tells me to go sit in the corner. So I take my charred scissors and Damn. sit in the corner like I'm a five-year-old. But to be fair... I made a five-year-old decision. Like, I was in grade eight. I was 14, bruh. What kind of 14-year-old cuts the cord to a sewing machine because he felt like it? Like, if my 14-year-old son did some shit like that, I would tell the kid I'm going to get some milk and I'm calling it quits. I would have to have another kid and try it all over again because that kid is going nowhere. Enough, man. So as I'm sitting in the corner realizing I'm a disappointment, it was one of those moments where you fucked up so bad you don't even feel any emotions. I was just sitting there straight faced like, well, fuck me. It was really one of those moments where you just... You, you just want to stop existing. So after the class ended, the teacher came over to me and she said, Chains, why the fuck did you cut the cord of the sewing machine? Um, Miss Sewingson, you, you got to hear me out. Miss Sewingson? Okay, this better be good, Chains. I was looking mad juicy and the scissors just teleported into my hands. I don't, I don't even know. You did what? Ah, mom, it, it was the intrusive thoughts that, that they told me to do. Oh, I'm about to intrude that ass. The fuck? <laughs> Are you see it? Are you running bad? Are you running? I'm like a bad. Niggas had to watch that whole thing just That now. shit was very...
therapeutic. Oh my gosh, bro. Damn, Damn bro. Truthful, the truthful thoughts do be like, it be like that, bro. It, it do, it, bro. It be, it be sometimes like some kids, you see them, and like, like I don't know, you just want to... Like, yeah, yeah, you just want to slap them. You want to smack, right. smack kid, like, you hear, you hear a kid crying, you just want to just like, just kick the little nigga over or something. You know what I'm saying? Punny. Right. Like, what if I just slap that nigga? Like, yeah, like, what if I slap this nigga right now? What's about to happen? What's another one? Now, when he said, um, the old lady walking, like, you ever see an old lady? Oh, yeah, walking, yeah, 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 yeah. They hit her with a mean hook, like, bro, hit that bitch. He, he punched the shit out of the old lady, bro. Like, he was like, but he said, for what, though? He said, what are you going to get from him? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> sure. All right, fuck it. Like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and choose the thoughts are crazy for real though, because I do be like that, especially like when you at the gym or some shit, getting your last little pumps in, and you like, like mm-hmm. yeah, bro, like ten more, you're a bitch for real. Mm-hmm. Ten more, you getting no pussy for the next ten years. <laughs> like, you, gotta, you gotta gas it to make yourself feel good, like for real. For you gotta be like, ah, like, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, we all think alike. Choose the thoughts, bro. Everybody has a choose the thoughts, thoughts, though, bro. Some probably just worse than others, and some people just have them take over there. Like, some people choose the thoughts to take over, bro. That's wild. If my choose the thoughts to take over, bro, I'm an evil nigga, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm that's, a, nigga, bro. that's the dark lie. side. I'm, I'm an evil guy, bro. If my choose the thoughts to take over, I'm an evil guy. That's what the Sith did. They uh became their choose the thoughts in Star Wars. I just shit. became learned and cope with it. Type shit, type shit. That's it though, y'all, man. Thank y'all for watching. Make sure y'all go ahead and like and subscribe. Click on that notification bell because your boys are here for a good time. And a long time. Long time. Long time. Okay. It's your boy Jay. Presume. All right, y'all.